I definitely remember the first day I, I switched to the new Evo. It was just in the build up to the Tour de France. One of the good things about riding Cannondale is that their bike is very much a bike for all occasions. Their bike is built to do everything. It descends, it climbs, it, it handles the flat. It's comfortable and, and does everything very, very naturally. The first thing I noticed was not being a, a climber per se, but climbing on the bike. I noticed a big change. It climbed a lot better out of the saddle, steered a lot quicker, more predictably. I just felt there was a big improvement in the front end. It just felt more connected and super light. When it comes to the, the transfer of power through the frame, I think when you match it up to the, the hologram crank, the BB30 system, there really is just no gap when you put the power down to when the bike actually moves forward. It's a very seamless piece of equipment and you really feel that getting transmitted down onto the road. I think the biggest way that it helps you is that it, well for me personally, it, it feels like it's a natural fit and it responds very predictably. When you're in a race situation you, you can't be thinking about you know, I've been planned for this particular scenario in this corner because I know my bike handles this way or I know the brakes lag this much or, or the steering is a little bit slower in this kind of corner. You want to be thinking what, what the riders around you are doing, you know, what the road surface is like and, and when you're going to make your move in the race or how you're going to take that corner or that, that little climb. That's what you need to be thinking about, not thinking about how does my bike respond in this situation. And the biggest help in riding the Evo is that you don't need to think about that. You just you turn the corner and the bike will be underneath you and you put the power down and you don't need to worry about the, the chain flying up because the, the bottom bracket flips. This is not a bike that you need to, to learn to ride it. And that's a big help. It's comfortable. It handles different terrains and road surfaces very well. Yeah, I think you struggle to find that in today's bikes. While the Evo is comfortable, it is very, very dynamic and rides itself. The fact that the Evo is so balanced in all areas of descending, ascending, cornering and just riding and performing at speed in any situation, for me that's what sets that bike apart.